if 60% of the network studio and conglomerate CEOs are Jewish Zionists, this may be why anchors, pundits, politicians, and celebrities all tread carefully around the third rail of politics, Israel, the Jewish state. The Jewish leadership in New York City media and in Hollywood is extensive, as we've already discussed. And would that be the reason why uh, free thought is not allowed on the subject of Israel, whether it be on the talk shows, the newscasts, Hollywood itself? Yes, I think the answer is a, an, an emphatic and obvious yes. That's the reason. The issue is whether we the people should be concerned when none of our political candidates can get coverage from the mainstream media unless they're uncritically pro-Israel. Many American voters and taxpayers do not feel the U.S. should be involved in Middle Eastern affairs as much as we are. Look at what our involvement has already done. Caused wars, 3,500 American lives, 4,500 civilian lives from drone attacks. And when you have a group of people, I don't care who it is, that refuse to allow another group of people the opportunity to even express themselves without the fear of the destruction of their way of life and their livelihood, you know, is totally, totally foreign to anything this country was built upon. Five trillion dollars in debt and taxes, the deaths of millions of indigenous people around the Middle East, the rise of ISIS, and worldwide threats of terror. Now even terrorist attacks on American soil. I don't think every political candidate, or most political candidates, take a pro-Israel position or at least say that they're pro-Israel, they're going to defend Israel, Israel is our greatest ally in the Middle East or whatever. I don't think they all say that because there's Jewish influence on them. They say it because that's what those people in their constituencies believe. Of course, the media people, they're hired, and they don't have much of a chance because there's employment discrimination in a sense there, right? They're going to be hired by control group people who are favorable to Israel, and therefore, they need to be favorable to Israel and never get the job.